Next, I would like to discuss the cleaning of the Neutrix empty. The Neutrix empty is a hybrid connector. Inside of it, it has electricals as well as fiber optic contacts. In this case, there are LC connectors. That's Lima Charlie. There's a pair of them down there. Uh, Neutrix provides, at a cost, of course, a tool to snap over the end of the connector allows you to access two contacts with a string cleaner or with a feed-through tool. It allows you to reach down inside and clean the surface of each of the contacts. So these particular tools packaged by Stickler. So, the other option is to use a string cleaner. It reaches down inside and snaps. Basically, it's string, much like dental floss being centered and snapped across the surface of the contact. Now, if you don't own the tool, your option is to simply remove the head of the connector. In this case, polarize it with the name up, retract the springs and the wavy washer, and then slowly rotate the back nut. When it clears the threads, you can simply pull the head of the connector off. You'll see that there's a large polarizing key. You'll have to note that for reassembly. Now that you have exposed contacts, you can use the reverse Q-tip, kind of design made by Stickler. Uh, it's the 25, I particularly like it. So you press it onto the end of the contact and you rotate. I prefer clockwise manner. Uh, always go in the same direction. It removes the dirt from the center to the outside. Um, when it's aggressive, you would simply apply a little bit of alcohol to the tip and go for wet, dry, wet, dry with a pair of these until you get it clean. The other option is to use the string cleaner. Simply put the alignment tip on, line it up over the end of the contact, and snap. Next, you would want to visually inspect it. That's where a video scope comes in handy with a 1.25 millimeter tip which slide it over the end and focus on the contact. Because you have access to both the contacts, you could even use wipes. These are uh, cloth-based wipes, non-woven fabric. Something as simple as a chem wipe, which is basically a lead-free wipe. Uh, you could use wet-dry. Again, rotating in one direction. Uh, clean the surface of the contact. Then you have reassembly. Large polarizing key up. Now, name to the top. Line this up, slide this down until it seats. Bring the back nut up, rotate it. You get a few clicks out of it. About two pounds over the door, maybe three. And then back it up so there's no undue pressure on the spring. So, the quad version of the connector is identical, except for it actually has four contacts behind the shutter system. But removing the head the same way. Simply rotate the back nut until it clears. Pay attention to the large polarizing key. Remove the head. Now you have four contacts where you could use the stickler wipe. You could use one-click pin, snap, 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 wipe them down visually inspect each one of them, and then simply reinsert the head. Opposite, you would bring the back nut up, you'll get a few clicks out of the locking back nut, back it off when you're done so there's no undue pressure on the springs, and voila, you're in business. That's all it takes to clean a nitrogen.